Well, today I'm talking about picky dog eaters, and so today let's get started. First thing I'm going to show you is the food that I'm feeding him right now. I feed him Pet Pride dog food. It's over there, but uh, I will show you the bag, but it's a big bag, and it's a really good food. It helps clean his teeth and reduce tartar and all that build up, and it's really, um, I mean, that's like the healthiest food, but it's uh, healthy enough, but, um, and it really keeps him in good shape. And, uh, um, I'm trying out, um, this canned food because... I wanna uh try the things out here go 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 with his sister. The first time I tried the canned food, um he didn't get runs at all. He did uh he didn't have any problems with that. And so um yeah, but he does stick to his hard food most of the time, but he don't get the canned food that much. He only gets like in moderation or every once in a while. He only gets like every two months or something like that. But uh yeah, I'm going to show you the canned food I'm feeding him now. So, um, I got this canned food from one of my mom's friends, and she gave it to me, and I thought it was really good because I really wanted him to try some soft food and see how he how he goes good with it and, and his system and everything, and it does great for him, too. And I wanted to add some good stuff to his diet, because it's his one well, food is like one of the best, but uh, add some um, vegetables and stuff to it. So, uh, the first food I have, the first canned food I have is Merrick turn, turned up. Um, with it has turkey, duck, chicken, sweet potatoes, carrots, green beans, Granny Smith apples. And it has really good greens. It's really a healthy food too. And uh, I'm really impressed with the greens. And I read it like, ooh, they're really gonna love. they really gonna love, love this food. It has the greens has deboned turkey, chicken broth, duck, chicken, sweet potatoes, carrots, green beans, apples, peas, potatoes, dried egg product, natural chicken flavor, and it has uh. Cadol oil and olive oil. And that's all the ingredients it has in it. I will show you it. Oh, oh. If I won't show you the ingredients and stuff on it, but uh, yeah. But it'll show you the front, what it looks like. Oh. What it looks like. That's what the front looks like. Mm. And stuff. So, um, I want to give him a little amount because it says, um, you should have one can, but I would give like half a can. You also eat all of the can. So the next flavor I have is turkey Thanksgiving Day dinner. It's an American can. So and this one it has turkey, sweet potatoes, carrots, green beans, berries with apples. Um, this would be a great meal for Thanksgiving because you love that. And now I'm gonna read you the ingredients that it has in it. It has deep red turkey, turkey broth, chicken, sweet potatoes, carrots, green beans, apples, peas, potatoes, um, chicken flavor, blueberries, and cranberries. Um, yeah, it's really a good food. I love the greens and all of this food, and uh, I will show you the can. This, like I said, this would be really good you know, for Thanksgiving because I think because it's a Thanksgiving day uh, meal, so I think it'll be a great meal for it. So yeah, the next one I have is this Halo Spot Choice. Shredded um, turkey and chickpea recipe, and um, this has really good ingredients too. It has turkey, turkey broth, turkey liver, chickpeas, carrots, 
blueberries and and cranberries. So um and flaxseed, which is really good for the skin and coat. So I already got I got this one and it's a small can, so you probably don't have any problems with that, you know. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And um yeah. Yeah, that's what the ingredients on there. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so the next one I have is Granny's Pot Pie. It's another American. Um, it, it has the chicken, red jack and potatoes, carrots, peas, and red delicious apples. And um, the ingredients is a really good ingredient too. It has steamed chicken, chicken broth. Potato, carrots, peas, apples, dried egg product, natural chicken flavor, um, and olive oil and flaxseed oil. And this is what the can looks like and what it has in it and um, yeah, and all that. Yeah. yeah. The, the next. One I have, the last one I have is Sweetheart Stew. Um, there's chicken, sweet potato, and red apples. Yeah. And, um, this one has really good ingredients too. It has demo chicken, chicken broth, dried egg products, sweet potatoes, apples, dried potatoes, nacho flavor, chicken liver, and dried peas. And all of these food is made in the U.S., which is really good, because all that stuff made in the U.S., because like, I'm more healthier for your dog, so. Yeah, there are six of them, eight one, obviously. So, um, this tip I have for you is, um, uh, try to stick to a schedule, like, um, what times you want to feed your dog, but his the schedule doesn't always work for him, so he eats never really because he never finishes food, so he does whatever. And um, you could add stuff to your dog food, you could add canned food to dog food that help. Um, you could add vegetables, fruit, stuff to it to make it a little more healthier. Um, you can, um, Find if you if you can find obvious tip is if you stick to one food if you have one food the obvious tip is to switch to something some more healthy and try to switch up the flavors and try to come up with different um, flavors the dog likes and um, try to uh, like if you find a gravy that your dog likes you can try that or like I said you can try vegetables, fruit, anything you can you can have to put in your dog's food. So um the next um the next tip is don't feed your dog too many treats or any too much uh table food because it uh making it full and then stick to that food because um Morgan he likes smell all kinds of food every single night, so I was surprised he don't eat that most of his food because he's a very great dog and he uh uh don't uh don't like much of his food. You know he'll eat it, like he'll eat all of it. Sometimes he don't eat all of it. Sometimes he he'll, he'll take the food and he'll leave it out the room and it takes for a while to finish all of his food. So um, as long as they're eating his food, it, um. It's, no problem with me, so because the food will last a long time. That bag, that um, pet pride bag, the twenty pound bag, will last him like a year. So I don't have any fresh in it, so I don't have to worry about going back to the store more often. So it'll last more while. So I'm gonna take his time and finish the food. So. Yeah, sorry if he's not in the video because he want to be in the video right now because uh, he thought I was gonna give him a back or something, so he don't want to be in this video. So. He's not gonna be in it, so 
I'll just be explaining you about picky eaters and what you can do to help with your dog. And I'll post um um uh on the bottom of the screen on the website where you can look up information on picky eaters. I just gave you some information. Uh, so I was gonna read it off my phone and everything, but uh. I don't want to uh, come up with my own information because I didn't want to read off there. So, now, um, make sure you know what your dog can and cannot eat. There are certain things your dog can't eat and some things cannot eat. Like fruits and vegetables, you know, things like chocolate, raisins, onions, stuff like that. Um, you, it's bad for your dog. You cannot eat. You know, things like strawberries, bananas, stuff like that. You can't be your dog. I will post a uh -oh, picture on the screen on what you can can't feed your dog, and so you can read the whole list. And I will post a website on what you can and cannot eat. Free. I mean, what your dog can and cannot eat. Sorry, I messed up there. So um, yeah. Basically, um, I'm pretty sure I came up with some good tips. I'm trying to come up with some tips. If I am on my but like I said, you can go on the website and go on to on pictures and stuff. So, thank you all for like tuning in, and being patient with me. I made sure I come up with a schedule and to do more videos. So, now that and one more thing is uh, if your dogs refuse to eat, make sure you. If you to eat or not eating at all, take them to the vet because it might be something wrong with them. So, if there's a wrong take them to the vet because he's not eating, but he or she not eating. So, that's all for, I think, a half for today, I think. With, like, all the basic tips and stuff. So, um, yeah. I'm doing the best I can. So, you can still give me props to do a good job. Everything. Make sure you subscribe and um, yeah. Uh, uh, look for more videos. Yeah, coming future. So thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully, in the next video, Morgan will be in it and stuff. So, see y'all later. Bye bye.